Hi, my name is Eric Matsubara. I am the Technical Support Manager for GF Piping Systems. Today we'll go over part one of a two-part series, setting up and installation of your RPC electro-pneumatic positioner. I'm working with the RPC positioner, a one-inch fail-closed pneumatically actuated ball valve. And before we get started, let's go over some of the tools. We'll need box wrenches, uh, eight, 10, and 14 millimeter. Use some hex wrenches, two and three millimeter. For our pneumatic connections, we're going to use a G thread. I use the 90s, but it's a G thread by tube connection, quarter inch tube connection, and a length of pneumatic tubing. Our RPC electro pneumatic positioner, as well as an adapter kit. The adapter kit is part number 199190647. Inside we have your mounting brackets, so uppers and lowers. We have the adapter spindle, as well as the hardware. To get started, we'll install the lowers to the actuator first. We'll use this, as well as the 8 millimeter nuts. Get those down hand tight. And each of the nuts, or each of the screws, comes with a lock washer. So. Use an eight millimeter wrench just to snug those up. Okay, with that done, I'm gonna take my adapter spindle. For this installation, we're gonna use the spindle adapter and it is important that this spindle adapter here, the key portion of it fits in the key of the position indicator on the, on the actuator and that it sits flush, okay? And what you see here is the set screw, and this set screw will align with the flat edge, so the D side of the spindle, okay? And you notice this will just free turn, so we want to make sure that the set screw faces that flat edge, okay? Next, what I want to do is I want to pull the, the pivot indicator up far, and I'm going to use this as a guideline, a depth indicator, as far as how far into the spindle, uh, how far into the adapter my spindle goes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it on top. I'm going to align it with one of the screws. And just lining up the holes, I should be able to get one of these in place. Good. So that now I know that I'm lined up. And now that we what we have here is the pivot indicator is now a good guideline for the depth of my spindle adapter. So I can take that off. I can take my spindle adapter use my spindle adapter, the two millimeter hex wrench. And tighten it up. There we go. Now I'll install the other upper half of the mounting bracket. Now we can take this and set it on the actuator. And these should line up. Let's take my three millimeter hex. Let's get one in on this side. So the only tricky part on this was aligning that spindle adapter so it sits flush to the top of the indicator cap of the actuator. So here we have it with a flush fitting right there. Okay. Your positioner is now attached. The pneumatic connections will look like this. 
You have two ports. You have your control port, it's labeled A1. And you have your pressure port or your supply line, that's labeled P. So A1, I'm gonna go ahead and thread in one of my 90 degree tube adapters. Again, this is quarter G thread by tube. And one on the PPA pneumatic actuator. The nice thing about these positioners, they work with both fail open and fail close and double acting actuators. So once we get that all snugged up, align the, the connections, install your pneumatic tubing, and you're good to go. P is your pressure port. This is where your incoming supply air will go, just like that. Okay, and that is it.